Rangers with no changes to the team that defeated Western Suburbs last weekend. Jason Sinclair, a new face in the side since the Rabbits were last on television. And Dean Schifoletti is back there in the number, number nine jumper. Graham West is the referee and South Sydney running into a very strong northeasterly breeze as they go right to left across the screen. And Matthew Ridge is the first of the Sea Eagles to take the ball, immediately wrapped up by the Rabbits inside the 20 metre line. Mark Carroll now. Carroll able to gain a couple of metres but the South Sydney defence is up. And Scott Fulton goes in again to dummy half, tries to make ground himself but wrapped up and put away by the South Sydney number 10, Terry Hermanson. No luck last uh, year for South with their matches against Manly. Manly gave them two big hidings. And so South will be hoping to turn that around today. Here's Carroll now with his second handle on the first set of six. And he's been in great form too, Mark Carroll. Had a big game against Cronulla last week and already twice as Manly go wide now. Ridge puts it down, but Carroll has been in superlative form. Now the kick off the boot of Ridge goes down and hits the, the corner post. So in fact it is classified as in touch in goal and a 20 metre tap to restart. And a stroke of luck here for South Sydney. Uh, Trindle did well in the end. He didn't really know attempt to get the ball and a uh, stroke of luck for them. South then coming out from the 20 metre line. Manley's first set of six carried them back to the... Uh, the South 20 metre line in point of actual fact. And now the sound of the whistle and the penalty goes to South Sydney, the first of the game. Awarded 30 metres out from the South Sydney line. Good crowd in. Manly and South traditionally have drawn good crowds no matter where they are on the, uh, the league ladder. Tap taken by Dean Schifoletti and this is Doniger up towards the halfway mark Hermanson who does plenty of the heavy work for South plenty of go forward in Terry Hermanson Schifoletti's pass and they run the angles behind oh! McGaw was slammed by Carroll but he got up and went again to his credit and Craigfield loses the ball and the mistake forced there, some big defence, firstly from Carroll, then by Dunford. Manly go wide for Danny Moore. 40 metres out from the Manly line, Cliff Lines with a dummy. And then uses Roberts, Roberts is put down by Schifoletti. Some very big tackling, and the referee is rolling a knock on. Yes, well no love lost between these two clubs, been some big hitting early. And Roberts on this occasion, nice tackle by Schifferley right around the shoulders, drove up and the force another mistake by the Eagles. So South Sydney now with another use of the football and they make an embarrassing use of it as well. Well, they better check the balls here, Rabs. They're going everywhere. On this occasion, Jason Sinclair, very basic error, took his eye off the football. Scrum near the halfway. Tuvi working scrum and pulled down by Craig Field, one of the, the in-form halfbacks that Tuvi returns against today. They go across the ground and Lyons again looking for Danny Moore using Terry Hill as a decoy. Scott Fulton. That's Matt Dunford. Probably with the exception of David Gillespie, this is Nearly as strong a side as Bob Fulton can field for Manly. Carroll, 43 metres away from the South Sydney line. A decoy runner to the blind side before Cunningham goes up the open. And Manly are 33 metres away from the South Sydney line. 
Fulton again. This is Cliff Lyons. Runs to the line, lets a decoy go. Tuvi comes in, Rich is there. And a nice piece of work by the Manly players. 25 metres out, they get a penalty. Hakefield wouldn't let Ridge go. Ridge trying to get the per fast play the ball. And Field has been penalised. So Ridge, you'd think, would have a shot at goal. He is. Here's the incident. Field wouldn't let go. Matthew Ridge from 28 metres out. And about 18 in from touch. Eighty-eight percent is uh, strike rate, and in flight, never ever losing the line. So Manly takes the first points at Brookvale. They lead two nil. Wilson with the restart. Not a big kickoff, but then again, he's working into this very strong northerly breeze. As Manly go to the left of the ground towards Elskud's wing, and Manly make a mistake, and South Sydney a chance to capitalise on it. Inside the 20 metre line, Paul Miller comes across looking to go straight forward. What he does is that he now has given South. An opportunity to attack on both sides of the ruck. Trindle standing up at first receiver. This is Doniger. And Doniger has put away 15 out. And again, the ball comes loose. Yeah, the ball was stripped, Ray, on that occasion by Terry Hill. Terry Hill coming in hand amongst the ball there and stripped it out. So they've taken a quick tap, the Rabbits. So South opting to not take the kick into the breeze. And uh, put away is Mestrov. Played with the Eagles, Tony Mestrov. This is Tyron Smith, one of their good young players. And he's put down. Still about seven metres out from the line. Skivaletti uses the blind side. He goes himself. Looks for a runner. Finds him. That's a try. Shane Wilson. Shane Wilson gets the try. So South Sydney lead by four points to two now. And a magical pass by Dean Skivaletti. Lovely work from dummy half. Scoots out. The man defence comes up quickly out wide through Scott Fulton. And that ball there was magical. Terry Hill couldn't get Shane Wilson. First blood to Souths. This is where it all happened here. The man who played come up quickly and that was round the corner. Excellent skills. It's his fourth try of the year, Shane Wilson. Just looking at that replay... Terry Hill obviously was of the opinion that Schifoletti was going to create problems, either score a try himself or get the ball away. So by him going in, he left the gap for Shane Wilson to go through. Terrible predicament, of course, for Terry Hill. Pretty hard to back a winner in that situation. Shane Wilson. Attempting conversion of his own try. South having a similar problem with goal kicking to Penrith, but not this one. South, they convert. They lead 6-2 at Brookvale. Ridge then. He hardly struck that ball and it's going down to land on the goal line. So South, South doing a good job to lead 6-2. I know it's early days, but this breeze is probably an eight-pointer well, in favour of Manly. Two things happened there. First of all, Manly dropped the ball on the first tackle and then South made the wise decision in the end to run from the penalty rather than kick for goal. So they've, they're on fire, the Rabbits, early. 
Tyron Smith. Back on his own 20 metre line. The tackling continues to be heavy. And Goldspink is now put down. That's Jason Bell. Souths this year have been notorious for a slow start. They have not been in front at half time all season. on the Manly side of the halfway by Ridge. Manly lock it in there for a little while. Tuvi's pass to Lyons wasn't good. And Terry Hill is tackled effectively by Jason Bell underneath. Hancock away from dummy half. Smith pursues, makes the tackle. A late second tackle coming over the top from Mestrov. It went unchecked by the referee. Dunford is with it now. 45 out from the south line. Scott Fulton. Leaves Cunningham to go. Tuvi across the Lions. Tuvi Lions across the back for Ridge. That's a couple of times they've used the same play and Souths have been able to read it with McGaw coming off his wing. Now Big Roberts lumbers up to the defence, pops the pass out the back. And away in number 11 for Manly, Stephen Menzies in the headgear. Strides out of one, brushes away another, stands in the next, looks for the support but it doesn't come. Five tackles gone just outside the 20 metre line. Lions gets behind the defence. Roberts, oh, McGaw came in with a kamikaze tackle. Oh, Mark McGaw, he's becoming a specialist at this. Reads the play very well from out there in the wing. And in he came and crunched Ian Roberts. Wooshka. That is a shoulder charge and a half. Big McGaw, he'll have them looking next time because that's the second big hit that he's pulled off in the game. Shades of a match he played for Penrith last year against Parramatta. And he's picked up where he left off, you would, would have think. Looking at his opening performance here for the, uh, the Rabbitohs today. This is Mestrol, 45 out from his own line. South leading six points to two. Schiffaletti a dummy half. They use the blind side, Tyron Smith. Chip and chase, and here's the chase. Ridge goes up and uh, no thought of self-preservation. Good effort by Matthew Ridge. 32 out from his own line. It's away, a floating pass again. Hill goes across. Lyons comes back on the other angle. Ball bounces for Tuvi. Well, and the little seven didn't need a pass like that. He's wrapped up. Manly doing plenty of passing. They need some go forward. Here's Mark Carroll to do that. Steve Menzies, a brilliant run a while ago. Very deceptive player is Menzies. Need more running from him. Scott Fulton now taking the play towards halfway. Toomey, Lyons. And now Terry Hill and well read once more. Shane Wilson underneath. And the ball is coughed up. Hill is injured. Classic low tackle there by Souths. Shane Wilson on Terry Hill. Beautiful tackle. Cliff Lyons drifted across for looking for someone running flat, and it was Hill, but uh, he's been injured. Thirteen minutes gone in the game. Attention for Terry Hill. Souths using the power of McGaw off the wing and he cops one back. Cunningham pulled off a ripper of a tackle. Sinclair shows it then gets it away came off the boot of a manly player but he might play the first breach i think he feels the pass from sinclair went forward and south continue to find holes in the manly defense nice piece of uh, aversion there so manly come up with the feed sinclair's pass probably forward and it may have come off a south player but the last player to actually touch it was a manly player but of course you go back to the first the first breach and uh, another penalty goes to manly 10 minutes in the bin he's got Schifoletti. no no sinclair sinclair it is and it's a, i don't know if this is a hasty decision but uh 
Jason Sinclair involved in the play of the ball, never made an attempt to get up and got his hand or, or something involved when Manly wanted to, uh, to play this ball. There's Sinclair on the ground there and he just knocks the ball down. But don't tell me that's worth 10 minutes, Rabs, like 10 minutes into the match. Well, Manly using a different way of kicking for line. The gridiron style. Jack Gibson employed that back in the 80s with Parramatta and Mick Crane and looking to get every available metre of ground. Fulton goes away from dummy half. Sinclair in the bin for 10 minutes. Controversial moment in the game. Now! support but it comes too late 10 meters out from the line terry hill the dummy half taken by skipper the ball bounces twice picked up by roberts given to ridge then to lions memphis can't handle it did south touch it the ruling is no some panic play here from manly they just had to go left nice and easy nice and slow and they would have scored but too many panic passes some here by cliffy not the best Blood bin has been ruled on Matt Dunford and Manly sends uh, Daniel Gardner into the game in jumper 41. South Sydney leading six points to two and here they are with 12 men trying to break away from their own 20 metre line. Smith plays it. Trindle was the dummy half. And that's Doniger. He and Tyron Smith have made uh, plenty of plenty of hit-ups for South. This man not to be denied, Hermanson. Just on that Jason Sinclair sin binning. I think uh, fair to say that a professional foul is the same, whether it be at the start of the game or the end of the game. Wilson showing it. McGaw ran inside. Wilson's hands didn't touch the ground. Craig Field around Jeff Toothy. Gets back inside Terry Hill. Gives it back for Wilson. Wilson put away. 32 metres out. South look okay. Five tackles gone for them now. Field is back in the line. Across for Schifoletti wide. This is Goldspeak who's tackled 31 metres out. And that's the turnover. And if he didn't want to have a prop forward looming out in the back line, it was then on fifth tackle. So Manly slog it back now towards the 40 metre line. Carroll it was. Now Ian Roberts. Not a lot of football in recent weeks for Ian Roberts. Now step, a nice step by Gartner. 40 metre line. Manly trailing six to two. Fulton's pass to two V and then to Lyons. And good couldn't take it it was a mongrel of the pass really Manly simply pushing too many passes here today at Brookie a speculator there thrown by Lyons and Elsgood not up to it scrum 40 metres out from the south line. Jason Bell. Not a cloud in the sky. And any thought of some clouds has been certainly blown away by the strength of this northeaster, which keeps aiding Manley's cause in the first half. Schifoletti playing it. Although having said that, some players will tell you that running with the breeze has a deterring effect on the accuracy of your passing. This is Doniger. Hermanson. Field keeping it low. Stabbing it into the corner. And so Elsgood now. He starts to wind up. And was he taken high? I think he was. Craig Field. He's been called out. 
Well, Elska was bringing the ball back very fast, very quickly. Beal has been, he's been sent off. Well, a delayed reaction there by West. And he sent Craig Field from the field. So Craig Field has been sent off. Elskud takes the ball up. And I've got to say, fair enough. Got him right around the chin. Very similar incident uh, to the one that saw Luke Rickardson sent off at the Sydney Football Stadium a couple of weeks ago. Well, referees and, and sending out a message, aren't they, Ray? No tackles around the head area. And they've paid the price now. South down to 11 men. Well, the Manly Medicos are quite concerned about Jack Elsgood. Stretch has been called for. This is the incident from another angle. And there's no doubt that uh, the first part of the body that Craigfield came in contact with was the chin, the jaw area. thing about is Ray he had plenty of scope there to go low didn't he a diving tackle around the the legs the ankles the hips anywhere but the, he did go high and, and no malice intended probably from the kid but he might learn a lesson out of this well the game has become an increasingly tough assignment for the little men because um, coaches they will not tolerate the ball not being shut down Yelskud is able to walk from the field it appears the stretcher has been refused The penalty place kick taken by Matthew Ridge. Fulton coming up to take the tap and does that. Carroll tries to bust his way through and almost, almost came out the other side, leaving four or five defenders in his wake. Carroll playing against his old club today. And it would appear he's enjoying it. Tuvi across the Lions. Cunningham. Don't forget that Jason Sinclair is still in the bin. So South are with 11 men now and a penalty against those 11. Well, I'd be putting the ball out because they've got five minutes left with 11 men and they'll, they're going to have the shot for goal. I don't know that Bozo would be happy with this. Sure, four points. Another two points would be handy. But... Uh, Against 11 men, you'd think with six tackles, they would score down in that 20-metre zone. Matthew Ridge then keeps his record intact. 6-4 in favour of the Rabbits. South Sydney then leading by six points to four over the Eagles now. Shane Wilson starting. And Matthew Ridge fires a long pass across the line for Cunningham to give on to Lyons. 
Lyons was put away. He had Terry Hill galloping free outside him. Penalty to Manley. South stretched to the outer limits now with just 11 players. They're, they're doing some things that they probably wouldn't do with a full team. Well, they're just trying to slow the play down until they can get Jason Sinclair back on to give them 12. And it's uh, penalties against them all the time now. But occasion Mestrov, the guilty person. Ridge. Finding the line about 11 metres in the south area. Carroll hammering at the south line. Gartner underneath that uh, South Sydney defence. Manly though, they've got their line wide and deep. It's only a matter of time. Ridge, he's put away 22 metres out from the line. Terry Hill, Stephen Menzies. South gutsing it out at the moment. Fulton, Tuvi, Lyons. Let Roberts go and they put it down. Knock on against Manly. So they, they continue to preserve the score line for Souths. This is Paul Mellor, and Jason Sinclair comes down. Sinclair will be back out there in a matter of seconds. 30 metres out from their own line, the Rabbits. Tyron Smith. Goldspeak. Heading for, uh, for Perth next year. Mestrov running strongly. Now that was a high tackle on Mestrov. Well, let's see what Graham West has uh, started for himself here. Touchdown's report coming in. Will he be sent off? The South fans don't like it. Clippy Lions is still on there. He jumped high. Jason Sinclair is back on for South, but what Graham West has started for himself here by sending Craig Field, he's opened up a minefield for himself in that anything else that would seem high in the game deserves a similar fate and that was the groan that went up from the South fans that are here at Brookvale when a penalty was all that was drawn from it that's not to say that the tackle by Lyons was malicious either Goldspeak Bell Trindle they'll need all his expertise Daryl Trindle now no Craig Field a lot falls back on his shoulders, the number one, Mestrov. 12 out from the line, five tackles, Guyon, Schipoletti runs the blind, beautiful kick! Red well by Hancock though! Great defence by South! Great there by Hancock. It was danger for Manly, lovely kick by Schipoletti, got all the skills Schipoletti. Hancock read it excellently well. And the defence... Dunford comes back. He's uh, head bandaged. Some running repairs for Matt Dunford. Six points to four. 15 minutes of the first half to go. Matthew Ridge. Ball bouncing down inside the 30 metre line. 
Doniger. Mello. Big and strong, very fast, but I don't know that he's had the impact on this game that I've seen from him in other matches for Mello. Lions copped at the back of Magora's boot in the face. He's okay, Cliff. Daryl Trindle decides to go. Leaves two behind him, but not the third or the fourth. This is the last. Jason Sinclair drops it on the right foot. Ball bouncing around behind uh, Chris Ryan. And then Sinclair's there first to make the tackle. 12 metres out from his own line. Danny Moore out on his own 20 metre line. Mark Carroll. Carroll, every time he hits the line, he puts a dent in it. Yeah, having a big game, Mark Carroll. He's getting his legs pumping as he gets to the line and he's going right on with it. Nick Roberts has, follows up, but a good hit. Ball comes out the back and again, an error by Manley. Well, you know, the, the good defence by South Sydney is putting pressure on the Manly attack and forcing mistakes. On this occasion, Smith and uh, Hermanson. Jason Bell working the scrums. Trindle playing at 5-8. They're playing minus a full back in attack. Sinclair. 35 out from the line. McGaw goes off the left to go and work on the right. That's Melor, the other winger, waiting to go at dummy half. And South is standing in a little clump out to the left of this man, Trindle. Mestrov goes up just outside the 20. Now they're starting to disperse. They were standing as a clump of players waiting for something to happen. Bell floats it. Tyron Smith runs onto it. And Tuvi goes low. Hill goes over the top. Sinclair from a sloppy play. The ball kicks ahead. Schifoletti goes fast, but Ridge is there. South will force the line drop out. 6-4 in favour of the Rabbits. Ridge. This ball bouncing back off Jason Bell. And Big Doniger. Standing back where you'd normally expect a full back in a full side. The second rower is tackled. A few metres into Manley's area and now Mestrov hits the line. Good young player, Tony Mestrov. In fact, uh, it's a pack. A pack of no names, really. And that's not meant to be derogatory towards them, with the exception of Schifoletti. They are just absolute workers and some very good young rugby league talents. Bell with a long ball, out for Sinclair. And Sinclair driven back by Danny Moore, gets the pass away. Bell gets around uh, Dunford, runs back over to the left and turns it back for Goldsby. Last tackle coming up now. South players waving for it out wide. Trindle puts the kick up, looking for the flank as McGaw. McGaw's up above the pack. The ball comes down. Wilson, Wilson goes for his second, gets it inside. McGaw, McGaw scores. That's an incredible try. It's an incredible try. It's a miracle, but well done, South. They're on fire here. They're throwing the ball anywhere. The ad lib football, the ad lib kings, that's what they are in Sydney Rugby League. Magnificent kick, plenty of height. Gabe, they're all on side two. That's very important. And the ball comes down. Not too much manly defence right out wide. And Wilson, how did he catch that? He's nearly going to be forced in the touch. Flicks it inside. The ball bounces. And it's picked up by McGaw. What a sensational try here at Brookvale. The bomb from Trindle right back. Caught behind the back there by Shane Wilson. And then McGaw, who raked it down to him, scores the try. Jubilation supreme here. The what? The, huh? bum the bumba. The bumba. That's the catch behind the backer. Well, McGaw gets his first try of the year. Kangaroo player. 
on the wing for South Seas Days. 12 men and all. <laughs> They're a bit of a demon. Sangster. Sangster Vorton, they call him. So Shane Wilson from a wide angle. There she goes. No goal. 10-4 in favour of South Sydney. Just one more look at it for you. But McGaw did well in the first instance. He went high for it and reached for it, got above the Manly players, and Wilson, I mean, that's just a speculator, but well done. Matthew Ridge starts it again now. Paul Mellor coming out from the end goal. Just out to the 10 metre line. Repeating that Craig Field was sent off only about 17 minutes into the first half for a high tackle on Jack Elsgood. South get a penalty to relieve the pressure. Played the ball infringement, bringing the penalty. Daryl Trindle finding the line. Now 25 out from the south line. Schifoletti looks around for that workhorse. The ramrod. Hermanson. He's the first normally to put up his hand, Hermanson. Goldspink now. Doniger. Good passing, good close quarters stuff. Mestro. Schivaletti, Trindle, Sinclair. Gives them another dimension out in the backs these days, Sinclair. Just got to be very careful of uh, some of the things that he... Oh, Jason Bill! Up the middle he goes! Trindle supports him! And Trindle loses his footing! Tyron Smith is there! Gives it back to Stephen Menzies, but he's in the wrong colour jumper. Well, I don't think Menzies wasn't calling for that. Unlucky of a South Smith there, looking to promote the football. Turned, saw a flash of red, but it was Tyron, it was uh, Menzies who called for the football. Jason Bell, big left foot step, got him through. And here, Menzies. So Manly have now got the football back. They've had one basic problem today, and that's the ball control. They've dropped the football seven times, turned it over, and this has not allowed the kicking game. Well, they got the numbers there, but they're going back into the centre. Menzies finds young Scotty Fulton. He's inside the opposition territory. There was a big tackle there that really shut the play down. I think it was Tyron Smith. Away they go. Two beyond the line. Back inside for Danny Moore. And South hang on to their 10-4 lead. Ball comes out. He's ruled he gave it up cold. It's another occasion where they've let the ball go loose. And their kicking game is non-existent. They've been, had played all of the game in their own half. Denny Moore, it was inexcusable. S scrum, slow to pack. <laughs> Schifoletti taking his time getting into the scrum. Well, to the... Well... No, he's ruled a knock-on by the South halfback. Tuvi got round from the base of that scum very quickly to put pressure on. On Bell. Well, you, you have to see it from the blind side. To have an opinion on it. Manly wins the scrum now. As Lyons gives it across for Matthew Ridge. Just the point I was making that... It's impossible from this side to tell whether Tuvi retired behind his pack. Cunningham now. Dunford. Tuvi. Lions. Danny Moore really 
pumping onto that pass, but the defence was great. This was the last. Lyons goes back with the cross kick bomb. Chris Ryan was underneath it, but the referee is real turnover. South then repelling another manly attack, and now South get a penalty. Hermanson. You don't even have to look really, you just know that he'll take the first play, Hermanson. Goldsby takes the second and runs into a good tackle. Roberts got him. Mestrov. Near the Manly players geeing each other up. Souths keep making inroads. This has been a good set of six for them so far. Played by Donegan. Skipperletti. Skipperletti runs to the wing, occupied by Melor. So they're down now on the Manly 30 metre line. Bell. Tries to dance away from Danny Moore. He does push the kick over the top. Looks for the rebound. But uh, Ridge is there to clean it up and he knocks on. Referee West ruling a knock on. And Jason Bell originally there was looking for a field goal. A long range shot. In the end he put a little chip in and put pressure on Ridge. The bounce wasn't favourable to Ridge and he's knocked it on. A chance for the Rabbits. I wonder can they pull another rabbit out of the hat before half time. Bell works it to the left of the ground for Trindle. Tooby and Ridge make the tackle. Wilson says to McGaw, where do you want it? McGaw said, I'm going open side. Then he runs across the 20 metre line. And Wilson goes into dummy half. Everybody's putting in a bigger effort than normal here for South. They have to with just 12 men. At the moment, it's paying rewards for them. Bell now floats it out to McGaw. McGaw, in his second hit up in this set. He's 12 metres out from the Manly line. Two minutes to go before the half-time break. Away now for Tyron Smith, and he hits the line and put down. Manly player came out into Trindle. Trindle, he's short of the line. And that's the turnover. Well, the markers were down, injured. Menzies was down, and Trindle saw the opportunity, had a lash. Fulton. No markers there and Trindler went for it. Didn't make it. Tiny little knock on at the end. Never made any difference though to the sequence of the game. As Dunford hits them with his body up there on the 20 metre line. Roberts. Out the back, said the referee, play on. Tuvi. Inside for Ridge. Manly, desperate for a try. Little scuffle up in the back play between Ridge and Tyron Smith. And once again, Manly continue to make errors in their own danger area. Some very poor ball security out here. Geez, that tackle of Smith's on Ridge looked a bit sus. 10-5, the handling errors. Manly have contributed to their own predicament. Sinclair out. And there's the siren. So the end of a sensational and controversial first half. But South Sydney, with 12 men for the greater part, lead Manly 10-4. Here's a break. There's more coming. Welcome back to Brooksvale after a sensational start. 10-4 in favour of South Sydney. They did that with the bulk of the, the half, just the 12 men. Craig Field sent off, and we learned at half time that apparently Cliff Lyons, the Manly player, has been placed on report for a similar incident. And now this is Hermanson, about 35 out from his own line. The mistake rate in that first half uh, was 
about 100% greater for the Manly side. Something like 10-5 was the error count against Manly. And South's leading 10-4 with two tries. And now Ridge. Trendle, the man who put the kick in, able to make the tackle. And Paul Mellor giving him an assist. Tuvi returning to the game today after seven months out. And of course the other player that Manly have been out with us for the major part of this game has been Jack Elskud who was on the end of the Craig Field tackle. Carroll is rounded up by Donegut. And Graham West, the referee, of course, uh, has set himself some some minefield standards really uh, for the uh, for the remainder of the game because he had to make a couple of crucial decisions early and here's Lyons now kicking and kicking over the head of Daryl Trindle Trindle trying to work his way back outside the 20 meter line and wrapped up by Jeff Tuvi. Cunningham and Roberts they both made 20 tackles in the first half Scott Fulton made 18 Mark Carroll made 11 hit-ups and 12 tackles. And another big tackle there from Manley. Bell using Tyron Smith. Manley's total tackle count in the first half, you'll be interested to know, was 122. Here's South with another break. Doniger strides out. Trindle goes with him. Doniger doesn't know that Trindle's there. Kicks ahead. Ridge is there to clean it up for Manley. Oh, well, it's turned out fine for South in the end. Some very ordinary defence back on the halfway line by Manley. Doniger, not exactly known for his agility. He runs powerfully, but he slipped through some work. Very ordinary. Manley defence, there he goes. In and away. Tuvi's the man who missed him. Trindle back on the inside. Not a bad option when you're covered by three Manley players. Uh, the breeze straight into the face of Manley and uh, even the great Matthew Ridge has trouble getting distance Jason Bell will be tackled not too far away from the 20 meter line in fact tackled on the 30 meter line by Mark Carroll Mestrov takes it up and Tuvi makes a diving tackle South Sydney Gold's beat now straight up the center 12 meters from the line 10-4 South lead. Will they score again? Sinclair holds it back. Around for Trindle, but Tooby puts him away. Wilson. Bell. Stivaletti. Thinking about what he was going to do with it. And he makes the mistake, the captain. He's thinking about that and also looking at Ian Roberts coming charging in at him. So South. The kettle's broken down. They're off the boil now. Kettle's broken down. That's fine. Man, he's well to hold out. Tuvi to the open side. He's missed a couple of tackles in the game, Jeff. Uh, plenty, plenty of teammates have as well, but in his defence, when you're out of the game, as long as he has been, doesn't surprise that your timing would be off. Well, that pass was forward. You could hardly say it was deliberately forward by Scott Fulton. Once again, it's, it's a pass that didn't have to be thrown. Always going to, going to be a miracle pass, and it drifted forward. So Manly continue to dig themselves a hole here at Brookvale. And the Rabbits go back on the attack. 28 metres out from the Manly line. Centre of the ground. Roberts got involved. He obviously didn't get a touch. Ball played by Trindle. Schiffaletti goes away from dummy half. Picks up Doniger. 12 metres away from the line. Centre of the ground. Leading 10-4. Goldspink from a standing start. Uses Hermanson. Hermanson driven back. Good defence there by Menzies and Tuvi. They lost 10 metres. Shane Wilson put down again by Menzies. Can he make it three? Out the back for the top goal. Bell sets himself. He likes it. West says yes, it's a goal. A huge 
punctuation mark before we got a decision. But South lead 11 4. Handy lead for the Rabbits now. What a bag tactic. I know it's only early in the second half. But that seven point buffer put more pressure on the Eagles. So 11 points to four. And Ridge, the bounce of the ball goes back to Tony Mestrov. Donega sweeping it around for McGaw. McGaw tries to run over the top of Stephen Menzies. Right, by having McGaw on the wing, I don't think there's any doubts that Souths have shown their hand. Uh, the big fella has a habit of going missing. Not that he's... Uh, not that he's frightened, he just doesn't seem to get involved as much as he should. But on the wing, particularly in the modern game, you've got to make yourself available to make forward plays. And so the move of McGaw, and of course he's not a stranger to the wing, is paying off the South. Sinclair. This is Ryan. Manly have got to play out their sixes. That's what they've been unable to do. And that's one of the reasons that Souths are in front. Lions promoting it across for Terry Hill. He gets it away, but it's forward. And that's play on advantage to South. Same old story for the Eagles. What's wrong with hanging on to the football for six with a kick? No, they're just pushing the pass. Trendall. 42 out from the Manly line. Skithaletti. Souths with a new player out there. 41 is Scott Tronk. Bell. Smith now. Stivaletti knocked down. Let's have a look at that on replay if we can. Well, he's actually lost the football. Scott Fulton picked it up and gave it back to him, but he's saying there that his touch judge has given him the report. A big tackle here by Roberts. Forces the ball loose. So then Carroll dives on it, but then lost it. So South will feed this scrum now just inside the 30-metre line. Good passage of play there. Quite interesting. But Graham West, only he and his touch judge know exactly what was said. Trunk, 15 out from the line. Danger for Manly. Goldspeak. Now, what will they do? They got the blind stack with four players, but they're lined by Manly. Souths go the open side. And at the back from Estrada for uh, Trindle. Trendle five metres away from the line. Manley hanging on in defence. Schivaletti the dummy half. Doniger, Tooby makes a shoulder charge on him. Doniger gets the ball away. Picked up by Bell. Bell away for Smith. Smith tackled. Oh, great tackle by Menzies. Five gone. Dummy half is Sinclair. He kicks. Goes himself. Was he taken out? It's over the dead ball line anyway. But I thought the referee might have ruled that Sinclair was taken out. Sinclair put the little chip over. Might have been better to go along the ground for the grabber to try and get the ball back or force a mistake, but too big. So Manly, still, they play the game in their own area. And, and that is because, uh, not only because of South Sydney's defence, but because of their own inability to use up a set of six. Here they are, throwing it around on their own 30-metre line. Tooby goes out. Big hit by Smith. Doniger was the first tackler there. Penalty Manley. Penalty against Tyron Smith there. Too much over-aggression in this tackle. Once Tooby was on the ground, they should have got up and let him play it. A big hit. Ridge with this uh, place kick for touch. 
pointed out earlier, nothing new in the game, obviously. Some would say it's more time consuming. Others would say it's more accurate and gives you a, a greater gain in ground. Hancock, 40 metres out from South Line. Now let's see if Manley can hold it for six and uh, really do something about that scoreboard. Carroll, yeah, better run there from Carroll. Tuvi, the angles, Lions. Ooh, gee, it almost went uh, horribly wrong. Ridge has tackled, 30 metres out. Now from dummy half, Menzies. He's been one of Manley's best. Menzies tackled on five. Away from Scott Fulton. Out the Lions, kicks into the corner. Trindle reads it. Trindle. Oh, knock on. Right on his own goal line. Well, didn't he take his time down there? Trindle, I, I think he's waiting for the ball to go into touch, was he? But in the end, he's come up with an error. Stroke of luck for the Eagles. Plenty of time here to pick the ball up. So, if ever Manly had a chance to score a try in this game, this is the chance. Tuvi, Hill at 5-8, lines it inside centre, Hill runs away from them, then he finds Ridge, surely they will score. Hancock, Hancock looking at the line, tempted for the double movement. South with everybody on hand now. He might be playing the uh, the advantage here, the referee. Now, it's with Dunford. Dunford taken and put down. Two metres from the line. There was a South player blatantly offside. Now, Fulton uses Lyons. Then away for Roberts. Roberts looking to get rid of it, but he can't. This is courageous stuff by the Rabbits. Nine metres out from the line. They hang on in the defence. The crowd as it comes away. Fulton uses Carroll. Carroll looking to score against his old club. A metre from the line. That would be the fourth tackle. He kicks it ahead and puts it down. He gets a tie. Fulton and Trindle, they shape up in the end goal. But Carroll gets the try. He's the one who shaped up. He's the one who shaped up. He's the one who's got them back into the match. He's been going forward all day. Nice piece of work here by Carroll. Tap the ball forward. Big question is, does he actually force it? Right there he does. And a bit of drama after the try was scored. A couple of the featherweights wanted to go on with it. Scotty Fulton and Daryl Trindle. Wouldn't bruise a peach either of them, but they had a bit of a fisty. Well, Big Mark Carroll walks back. Lost one of his shoes in running. <laughs> He's cast the plate in running. Rich. 495 points for his career. Will he crack the 500 today? Here's the boys into it. He looked all right too, Scott, didn't he? Well, he went all right in the preliminary. The shadow boxes. South Sydney leading by a point. The, D, uh, the Jason Bell field goal. I wonder how important it will prove to be. South sending their reserve grade hooker into the game in jumper number 22. Away now from Lyons. This is Dunford. Roberts. Lyons. To me. Moore's outside him, Tuvi tries to do it himself. Bell was the tackler. Ridge, charged down attempt by Mellor. Did it come off Mellor? McGaw with a good run back. Now, has Carroll's try been the medicine that Manley really needed? 
or will it inspire South to even greater heights? Trunk, put away 28 out from the line. McLean is on in 22. Doniger to the 20 metre line. Bell, Trindle, Sinclair shows it, tries to go through, gets a pass away for Trindle backing up. That's the sort of thing Jason Sinclair can do. McLean uses Wilson on the blind. He kicks back across the ground. Will it hit the uprights? No, and Lyons marks it. placed on the ground and released according to the referee what they are tolerating is the tap free they're not requiring players to put it on the ground but what they've done by allowing that is they've bred a false sense of security into incidents like this that's exactly right the referees he's pulled that one out of the book graham west and it might cost me only two points the players are saying what well, they can let us do it when we're taking free kicks, why can't we do it from a tap restart on the 20 metre line? You see, that's why I keep saying it's a place kick restart from the 20 metre line. And when they say place kick, they mean place kick. Even if it's only a tap, the ball must be placed. The kick. Shane Wilson right in front. Paul Mellor returns the kickoff. Well, Graham West has certainly had a controversial afternoon. Send off a sin bin, that penalty. I've seen them give. As Jason Sinclair looks good out wide. I've seen them pack down scrums for similar infringements. And I must say, Graham, he's had a fair game, but his 10 metres has been uh, diabolical both sides of the ruck. 28 metres away from their own line, the Rabbits now. Mestrov. Trunk. Big Roberts launched himself at him in the defence. Now back for the kick. Wilson. That's a good kick. It's a long run for Ridge, an even longer run for Hancock. The ladder gets there first. Tyron Smith. Making the tackle in that number 13 jumper. And Tyron Smith has been one of South's best today. He's had a very, very good game. The strapping young lock forward with the Rabbits. As Clippy Lions weave some magic to Tuvey. Tuvey into the way. Now Menzies. Menzies up to the halfway mark. Here comes the Rabbits defence. But Chrissy Ryan is there now. Lions. Long ball required for Tuvey. Longer ball for Cunningham. And now Terry Hill is the next. Terry Hill. Good tackle by McGaw around the bootlaces. 40 metres out from the Rabbits line. Ridge. Dunford. 13 to 10 in favour of Souths. Tuvey. Lyons. Roberts. Mellor. As big as a front row forward. Out the back. Touched in play. Six more tackles for Manley. Hill across it goes for 41 and that's Daniel Gardner he copped a high one and Tyron Smith's the offender again oh, this is hard luck and because Daniel Gardner was going down on the tackle there he slipped I mean it, that you can't be in for a high tackle there Smith couldn't have got any lower had to be an ant so Manley realizing the urgency of the exercise 
Not taking the kick for goal, which would have left them a point behind. Daniel Gartner, one of the good young manly players. He leaves a mark on the defensive line as Toothy comes across the Lions. Inside ball, Roberts. Hand down for Toothy. Mitch is with him, so is Fulton. Fulton's with the ball. Tackled 11 out from the line. Rich. Toothy. Roberts. Toothy again in the centre. Now they go back to the right. They've got the numbers out there. Lions across for Terry Hill. Terry Hill is tackled. Oh, wonderful tackle, Jason Sinclair. Hill playing the 10 metres from the line. Fulton's a pro oh, Hancock and was now it's with Menzies. Menzies tries to do it himself. South Sydney withstanding this set of 10 tackles. Can they do it? Lions pops it up for Dunford. Dunford taken by Donica. This is the last tackle. Lions goes himself. Now he passes. Ridge away from the out to Terry Hill. Terry Hill. He slams it down. Manley have hit the front. And the weight of possession starting to tell on this tall man, South Sydney, out there. What a gallant effort by them. But look out there, out wide. There's no one out there for the Rabbits. Gardner, quick hands to Hill. Had a little bit of space to move. McGaw slipped. Ineffective tackling. And Hill reached over. Well, this is the try from another angle. Terry Hill. He knows to keep that arm that's carrying the ball above the grass. He did it. He slammed it down. Third try for the year for Terry Hill. So Manly grabbed the lead for the first time in the game. Well, that's not uh, quite right. Matthew Ridge, his fourth attempt, and uh, this time, no goal for Matt Ridge. But Manly leading Halfway line for South. Shane Wilson's kick off very high, carried down the ground by the strong wind that we've had today from the, the left of the screen. Gartner. He's done some good things since he came on. Daniel Gartner held in very high regard here. Him again. It's me again. To the away for Ridge. Ridge uses Hill across the back. And then on from Dunford. This is Cunningham. 42 metres out from the line. Fulton looking to give it for Dunford but then finds Lyons and then around for Ridge and Ridge on the halfway line pull down Tronk hanging onto the boots Lyons and fielded over there by Mark McGaw just one point in it Trindle Mistral. Bell. Donegat. McLean. Trindle. Cabri is on for South. Ridge takes it. Beats Trindle. Runs away from Wilson. Nice work by Matthew Ridge there. His running game is uh, really 
improved out of sight the last year or two. He's able to beat men uh, at will now. Carroll. Oh, he's had a game, Carroll. He's really, he's got them back into the match of some of these barnstorming runs of his. Menzies. Some very tired South Sydney defence out there now. Manly's had most of the football. They've controlled it well the second half. And just some very poor tackling there. He's beaten four or five. And Danny Moore, very quick, long striding. Putting him up, putting him down right under the sticks. From head on, Menzies beat Jason Bell. All ends up and Cabri. He should have been tackled at least four or five times there. But he's a very skillful player. Danny Moore. Big man. Very fast. And that's what this game really is all about. Big, fast men today. Ridge from in front. Fourth goal for the day. 2013 to Manly. Roberts has got a problem. <laughs> Wilson's kick, is it too deep? Yes, it's out on the full. Penalty for Manley back at the middle of the halfway. The strong Marisa grab, grabbed hold of that one, sent it over. The things uh, all going wrong for Souths. It's been an effort built on very high South Sydney courage, this one. Taken by Scott Fulton. Danny Moore. Smell of success in the nostrils. Gartner. Scotty Fulton. Turns it away. Gartner. He'll go for the line. Menzies was unchecked outside him. Dunford. Tuvey. Good work by Doniger. Awesome sight for South Sydney. Manly fanned out both sides of the park. Yeah. Terry Hill. Hancock. He gets it. Hancock scores. And this is the Manly we all know. They've just carved up South the last 15 minutes. South were going to win this game. The weight of possession telling against them. Lovely ball by Cliffy Lines, and even better one by Terry Hill and Hancock. One of the best, most underrated finishes in the game. It's the four pointer. They had enough defence out wide, South, but Hill's a man out wide. He's carved them up this second half. He's drawn and passed very well. Well, what looked like it was going to be an embarrassment for Manly against 12 men for the greater part of the day. They've turned it all around in the last uh, 20 minutes. Matt Ridge, three points away from 500 career points. Will he make it today? 
this one is being pushed across the face by the breeze. So no conversion, scoreline 24-13 to the Eagles. Sydney sending David Penner into the game. Here comes Big Carroll back again. He's welcomed this assignment against his old club by the look of it. And whether he's welcomed that hit, got up very gingerly. Sinks to his haunches in back play. Dunford. Cabry's in jumper number 40 for South. He's been out there for a while. Menzies has been one of their better players, Manly. Cliffy Lyons. And I say it again, Daniel Gartner, since he's come on, has yes, done, done some good stuff, Paul Vorton. A couple of good, young, hard-running back rowers they've got now. The Eagles in Gartner and Menzies. Gives them plenty of options out wide. They can both step. They've both got speed. But up front is where the battle has been won, and, and Dunford's played very well, so has Carroll. 11 points the difference then. A funny feeling the footy tab start for this was 11 and a half for South. Hermanson still running the same strength from the same direction as when he started. Trunk, good work with McGaw. McGaw through the tackle of Danny Moore, but Moore put a little bit of a punctuation in his work. Manley come up with it now. Ball played by Ryan, then away to Lyons, through Tooby's hands to Ridge. And of course, every time they put the ball through the hands, they've got one over at the end of the line. Dunford handing it back for Gartner. South Sydney not to be uh, done. They've had their good plays too today. Some of their forwards. Here's Lions. Face ball. Menzies. In and away. Moore. Ryan. Trump takes him on the 40 metre line. Likes like Tyron Smith, Doniger, Mestre have all had big games. Hermanson. Lions now. Waving players around him. Gartner puts it down. And it's going to be a scrum with a South Sydney feed. And out wide for South, uh, Jason Sinclair has shown glimpses of what he's capable of as the mistake made by Manly. He's an enterprising player, lots of skill. <laughs> Message. <laughs> Cliffy Lyons by one of the trainers. This is Trindle back to Hermanson across for Bell, then for Sinclair. Talented youngster. 41 was Tronk. Trindle in, looking to come out the other side but can't. 35 out. McLean goes away from dummy half. Cabry went with him, but he was parceled up by Carroll. Then Trindle, now Bell, inside, Hermanson can't take it. Ridges with it. Spreads the ball on the first play without even taking a step. Lyons looks inside, Hill comes there, Hill's away. Here comes the defence, Doniger chases, McGaw chases, floats it inside, Hancock, blistering speed, and Hancock, he scores his second try. That's the sort of team they are, Manly. Always looking for opportunities to score. As soon as that ball was turned over, they looked out wide. And from then on, I always thought it was going to be a try. Three on three out there, but too much skill. Cliffy Lyons turned Terry Hill back inside. There's the gap. The defence not coming over. I thought Terry might have had the pace to go on with it. But Craig Hancock talked about his finishing qualities. Here's another example. The motor mechanic from Beacon Hill. Over he goes in the corner. Nothing like, nothing like a commentator that knows 
everything about these players. And that's the sort of person that this Fatty Vorton is. Not only do you know that his name is Craig Hancock and he plays on the wing, he's a motor mechanic from Beacon Hill. I get in to change my tyres when they go flat. <laughs> How do you concentrate here? I don't know. Matthew Ridge from nine metres in, 20 out. Crowd applauding. I think they thought Carroll was coming off. Ridge's kick again wide. So we're going to have to wait for another day for the 500. 28-13, the Eagles. David Penner starting what might be the last passage of play. It was inevitable, I suppose, which uh, probably sounds like it's after the ball. But South, they were using up so much petrol to do what they did, to lead 10-4 at the break. And here they are now on the receiving end of what is going to be a tremendously unfair scoreline. Uh, South lost the match when Craig Field was sent off, and they, they did very well to retain an 11 4 lead at one stage, but merely started to play a lot better. There's a mistake made, knock on rule here, there certainly was too by Denny Moore. And uh, Manly have played a lot better the second half, they retained possession, and they've worn South out of the match. But South, Ken Shine can be pretty proud of what they've done. The Rabbits. Down on the Manly 20 metre line. Manly come back with it. And he's got Cliffy for a little knock on here now as the, the turnover position occurred when I'm catching the football. Cliffy, although facing his own goal line, knocked on. Just a little on between the legs there. There it was. Sinclair trying to chop a passage through Manly sending a replacement to the sideline in jumper number 24 Paul check his identity yeah, Villai Kelamiti is his name uh, I don't know where he's from but he's getting a taste of it South meantime hammer away looking for a try 28 to 13 across the back line Penner, inside for Trendall, met by Carroll, and that is a monster that grabs you because he's twice as big as Trendall. Trunk, his pass to ground, Manly come away with it. Relay Calamity, is that his name? That's right. Well, he's on now. To the little fella's back. He's had a fair game too, too. He's eased his way into the match. But he's taken plenty of hits. He's done plenty of those big tackles he's capable of, and he'll be all the better for the run. And I wonder if in a month's time he'll be absolutely blitzing them. Ridge now kicks ahead. And, oh, McGaw penalized, not penalized, but it's a knock on. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the ref's wrong. No, he's right. The only mistake, by the way, that Mark McGaw has made today, he's had a big game for South, been one of their best. Inspirational play from the wing by him. Mark Carroll leaves the field. And he's the MMI man of the match, Paul. Mark Carroll, he's a thousand dollars rich up. So give us a smile, big fella. MMI insurance makes you a thousand dollars rich up. He's shaking hands there with David Boyle, a former teammate of his out there at South Sydney. Go, go, go. 28 to 13, the Eagles. Five tries, all in the second half. There's the siren, penalty given to Manly. Rich th thinks about kicking, but he takes the tackle, Matthew. That's it. 
Manly defeating South in round six. 28 points to 13. Manly's tries, five of them in the second half, as I said. Carroll, Hill, Moore. Hancock got two. Ridge added the extras, and for Souths, Shane Wilson and Mark McGaw the tries. Jason Bell, a field goal, with the extra points being added off the boot of Shane Wilson. 28-13. You people that have taken us live in the west and in the centre. Hope you've enjoyed it. And by the way, Perth, thanks very much for your hospitality last Friday.